Hey, my name's Evan at Mitchell's in Westchester, and I'm just going to show you real quick how to style your hair. If you're a guy and maybe it's a little poofy, maybe it's a little long, uh, you want to tame it down. So I'm just going to use a flat iron and just kind of show you a real quick way to uh, get it to look a little more stylish or um, just have a little more control over it. So um, I went ahead and I blew it dry with Bumble and Bumble Styling Gel. Um, you can use that or Sebastian Styling Gel is another favorite of mine. Um, <clears throat> most of the time when the hair is clean, it just kind of wants to lay flat, doesn't want to do much. So prepping your hair with some sort of a gel will give you a little more control, a little more base to kind of, you know, get it to do what you want. So what you'll want is some sort of a clip. I like these uh, Cricut clips. They get the hair out of the way. So, just want to kind of grab a small section, maybe comb a piece out, get it as close to the scalp as possible without burning your forehead, and just like that, kind of bend it under a little bit. So, I'm going to just do a few sections in the front forward. And just kind of run a comb through it as you go through it. It'll really help it lay really nice. So you can see already how much smoother it is and how it's laying down better. As I get further back from my own hair, what I'm going to do is kind of stick it up and flat iron it up so I can make it a little bit funkier as we work our way towards the back. So you can see if you have a good flat iron, you really only need to go over it one, maybe two times. You don't want to damage your hair. You can already see how you're bringing out the texture in it, it's laying better. And it's definitely not necessary to do the entire head. I usually like to do most of the top, maybe a few pieces on the side. I like my crown to stick up. I think that looks really good. So again, I'm just going to stick the flat iron straight down to my head and just kind of pull up. Just like that. And not, you don't need a clip for the entire head, but it does make it a little bit easier. So again, I'm just going to kind of bend it a little bit as I'm flat ironing and then I'll kind of Help it take the shape of the head and just lay a little bit better. So it's as easy as that. And I like to run a comb through it when I'm done too, like I said. It just kind of helps it lay down a little better. Okay. So if you like it to be just kind of real straight and just sort of the way that is. Nothing wrong with that. I like to make mine a little, a little edgier. So I'm going to use some Bumble and Bumble. So Sumo Tech is like a paste, has a little more of a matte finish. Um, <clears throat> I like to alternate between the Sumo Tech and the Sumo Wax. Sumo Wax is going to have a lot more shine. Um, and I think it, it's a little thicker, so we'll give you a little bit more separation. I like to mix them together sometimes as well. So I took a small, uh, small portion of that and just rubbed it completely in my hands. And then I think uh, one problem like a lot of guys have to get that pieciness, they try to just grab pieces and do that. Actually, you want to spread it all over and just, just work your hands all the way through there. And then once you're done, then you can start pinching it. Then you can start trying to get that separation. But the best thing to do is just completely work it through the hair all the way through. Just rub it all through. Don't worry if it's real messy. Just get it everywhere first. And then I can start pinching pieces and kind of directing it where I want to go. And hopefully that should help you uh, style your hair a little better if, you've, if you like that funky edgier look. Or if your hair is just kind of naturally poofy, flat ironing is going to kind of help tame it and uh, bring out the texture a little bit more. So.